Well, happy Thanksgiving Eve to all of you out there. It's very quiet around here in the State Champ Studios today. Uh, as we, we should record like this more often. Yeah, absolutely. Less and distractions. We made a special trip so that we can continue what we've done throughout the playoffs, and that is to provide to you uh, our thoughts on the fabulous high school football state finals that will take place at Ford Field happening this weekend. And we're so happy they're indoors. Absolutely. No question about it. And let's get right to it. We'll work our way backwards. So we'll start from eight, work our way to one. Uh, we know that there are a lot of great, 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 great games that we're looking forward to this weekend. Maybe Division 8 may not work out that way. And I'll use a parallel, kind of like New Boston Huron was kind of happy just to be there last week. Um, I think it's the same for Munising as they take on a very talented Muskegon Capitals. I think, and, and I think that's a good comparison because you had Orchard Lake St. Mary's the big powerhouse private school playing a, a public school that hadn't been there that far, you know, New Boston here on. Right. And Munising now making their first ever. Um, where state is final. Munising? Munising is on the shores of uh, Lake Superior. It's gorgeous. Wow. That's where the pictured rocks are at. Yeah. Uh, if you get a chance, um, it's a long drive. But do it in the summertime. Sure. Uh, they, they have a lot, they have these ferry boats that travel by the pictured rocks that get you a, a great view of it and I've been there once and it's oh, it's you know well worth the trip but uh, you know it's funny I was uh, you know speaking of Munising we got some time here uh, a couple years ago when I was working with the Detroit News I was writing about the boys basketball team and Munising's never really been any good but they won their first district um, a couple years ago since like 1968 or or something so Maybe they're getting some good uh, male athletes there recently. So right. this, this is a surprise that they're here, uh, beating Beale City last week. So congratulations. Right, MCC Muskegon Catholic Central averaging over 40 points a game. Uh, we don't um, we don't predict that uh, that's going to be anything different. In no, this I think it'll be pretty much a blowout. I think at halftime it'll be over. You know, you look at we were talking kind of off camera that. You know, Muskegon Catholic could can compete definitely for the seven or the six title and probably win either one. No offense to Detroit Loyola, but Muskegon Catholic's really, really good. I think they'd have trouble in five because of West Catholic and right. Lansing Catholic are both very good. I think they'd have trouble there. So we're taking Muskegon Catholic Central.